Yes, yes, people. Um, it's just going to be a little quick one today. Um, basically, a lot of people keep asking me about making rice and peas. How do I make my rice and peas? So I'm going to show you my way and my recipe of making rice and peas. Uh, but before that, I want to share a little tip with you just for cooking any rice, white rice, to get perfect rice every time. Now, obviously, the rice and peas process is a little bit different from just making plain white rice. So I'm just going to explain it to you. The white rice version, so basically, this is basmati rice, one cup. Yeah, this is one cup of basmati rice being washed and cleaned. Yeah, I just put mine in a sieve and I rinse it out and rinse the starch out. It's not like the old days, you used to buy your rice and you have to sit there picking out stones, picking out husks of rice. Yeah, unless you're buying really low quality rice, the, the rice nowadays comes pretty much totally clean. I can't remember the last time I've had to pick a stone out of my rice. Yeah, so all you're doing now is basically washing starch out of it. So, if I was cooking white rice, I use exactly the same amount of water as exactly the same amount of rice. So I put one cup of rice in there, wash it, the rice goes in there, one cup of water on top of your rice, some salt, yeah, not too much salt. I'll show you how much I put in when we do the rice and peas. Yeah, and then simmer it down until the water goes just below the rice line, okay? Once that's just gone below the, the, the rice line, give it a little flick with a, a, a fork, cover it, yeah? So when I'm cooking it now, simmering it, I'm, cover, I'm leaving the lid like this. When it's gone below the, water, the rice line, I'll give it a flick with the, with the fork, cover it completely, turn the heat off, right? That's all you gotta do. Turn the heat off, leave it. Then give it 20 minutes, 30 minutes, Open it, give it a little flick gently with a with a fork, cover it again, leave it another 15, 20 minutes, and you will have perfect rice. Okay? That's how you cook white rice. Anyway, we're doing rice and peas today, so this is how I do mine. Same process, same amount of liquid, same amount of rice. So I've got my cup there, and that's the rice. I'm gonna get my juice out of the can. Now you can Get the kidney beans, you can soak them, you can get the dry ones, and you can soak them overnight the night before and then boil them up like my mum used to do. But nowadays, trust me, it is just so much easier to get yourself a can of red kidney beans. Yeah, take the juice out of there, put it in there. I'm going to top that up now with water from the tap. Alright, so I've got my one cup of liquid, that goes in there like that. Okay, then we're gonna take, I've got creamed coconut here, yeah? About that much coconut cream. That's how much I'm gonna use for that much rice, okay? So I'm gonna bung that in there. Now I'm gonna turn my heat on, onto a medium heat. Yeah, so we want a medium flame. So what we've gotta do now, first of all, is basically cook that down so all that, that cream coconut is going to melt into that liquid. Yeah, so now we season it with a bit of salt, and I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper, not too much black pepper. Just a little touch like that, okay? And then we're gonna cover that like that. And we're gonna wait for that liquid, wait for that coconut to melt down. Yeah, till it's totally melted, and then we're at the rice, okay? All right, so that's um, all the coconut pretty much melted down. So I'm just gonna put my peas in now. Yeah. Get the peas in there, and you see all this little mixture in the bottom here? I'm gonna just rinse it out with a little bit of water, and that can go in there as well. Not too much, just a little splash, just enough to get that off the bottom. Because we want all that redness and all that flavor of the peas in there. So I'm gonna put that in there, and then we're gonna bring that back to the boil, and then we're gonna add our uh, rice, okay? Okay, so that's back to the boil now. It's on a on a medium heat, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this, the rice, okay? So just remember, same amount of rice, but the same amount of liquid. And then I'm just gonna give that a little, little stir. All right? I'm gonna put the lid on, but not completely cover it, because we want, want it to reduce, we want the steam to escape, and I'm gonna leave it just on a fairly low heat, because I don't want that rice catching the bottom of the pan, okay? Sometimes it does catch the bottom of the pan. As long as it doesn't burn, it's not too bad. You know, all right? Okay, so we'll leave that and then let's have a look at that once it's cooked down. 
so as you can see most of the water is soaked away into the rice now I've got that on the lowest heat possible now yeah so basically as it's cooking keep that heat low as anything yeah until all that water has pretty much disappeared you see how that's disappeared now okay what we're going to do now while that's like that I'm going to completely cover it I'm going to turn the heat off that is it right you won't have to look at that again now for at least another 20 30 minutes right just leave it like that trust me that will cook under its own steam and it will be perfect okay we'll have a look at it in about 20 30 minutes so that's been about 20 minutes now and let's have a look how we're getting on right as you can see that's swollen up nicely so what i'm going to do is gently take my pull and just move it about yeah i'm not going to vigorously stir it i'm just going to basically turn it over and as you can see that's swelling up beautifully okay so we just move it about a bit and now we're going to cover that back up another 15 minutes another 15 minutes 20 minutes that's all good okay so we're just going to leave that like that and let it do its thing Okay, peeps, so that's been another 15 minutes now. And as you can see, rice and peas perfectly cooked. Okay, now it's going to be delicious. All that rice, none of it stuck together. Yeah, perfect rice. Okay, so uh, if you're happy with that recipe, please go to my uh, YouTube channel, which is Dredge Kitchen. Matty Dredd's uh, Caribbean Recipes and Cooking. And um, there's that recipe on there and loads and loads of others. Okay, so please check it out. Thanks for watching.